In a recent five minute video, I demonstrated how we can apply a text template that automatically picks up the file name of the image being used and applies it to a number of other images via a slide style. I'll link to that video below. A PTE AV Studio user wants to place text justified on the left hand side of the frame. But when a much longer image name is applied automatically, the text doesn't begin from the justified edge. It begins in the middle and seems to spread left and right. So the text can appear outside the viewable area, as I'm showing here at the top left. Tonton Bruno, an experienced French user of PTE AV Studio, has suggested the following. When I demonstrated this slide style technique before, I reduced the size of the image to about 85% and I also put a little style around the outer edge. Let's repeat that. So I'm going to go to my zoom here. I'm going to drop this image down to about 80% and in the properties, I'm going to add a standard border and if we had a lighter background, we could add a shadow. We can make changes to these, but I'm going to leave them standard for the moment. If I come down into the bottom right corner, I need to click to lose the bounding box around the image, then right click and I can add text. In the properties tab, we can insert a text template, which is the picture name. What we also need to do is to go back to the animation and in the center options here, I'm going to type this in because I find it's easier, minus 100. Then using the pan controls or just picking up the text, we can place it where we want. Now it's a little bit on the large side here, so let's drop this down to eight and we'll finally place it something around there. Now we can come out of the objects and animation screen back into the slide list. So here is where we can make our slide style. So select the image, go to styles and themes. We need the styles option, tools and create a style. In my user styles, I'm just gonna call this text temp for speed and create. Now you'll notice I've got some images here which I've deliberately made the file names extra long just to be able to demonstrate what we're doing here. So we'll put the simple one, the car, although the car doesn't have a capital letter. So don't forget within the file list here, if we hit F2, I can rename that. And that's quite handy sometimes to get the titles right and the capital letters right. So let's Double click car, double click this one and this one that have long file names. Selecting all three of those together, I can go to my slide styles and I can apply my text temp. And what we can do here is highlight this one and we'll just press play and we'll watch this in the mini player. Picking up the text nicely, but the next one is going to be the test. The text is so much here, it almost reaches the other side. Now, thanks to Tonton Bruno, that seems to work perfectly. Now, I think you'll agree my text is rather large, but of course we can always just select any one of these images now. Go back to the objects and animation screen. I like to put my cursor into these boxes sometimes so that the cursor is flashing. It doesn't matter which box it's in with the zoom. And I'm going to hit the down arrow key. So I could get my text just the right size for my own project. When I'm happy with that, I can close. I could make a quick slide style from this, couldn't I? Styles and themes, tools, create a style. Let's add the number two on the end of that just to keep things very quick and simple. Select them all, slide styles, number two, apply. Now I think our text 
is a lot more delicate and if we wanted a larger image of course we could accommodate that too. There's nothing of course preventing us from putting the text over the images but auto text over the images you're never quite sure whether the white text is going to be lost in a certain part of one image as against another. Personal choice. Thanks for watching.